You are watching Strong Happy Healthy and I am here today at Flow AU and I'm going to try floating for the first time. So guys, um, what is floating for people that don't know? You'll be in an environment which is a tank and in that tank we've got about 30 centimeters of water and in that water we've got 250 kilograms of Epsom salt, so magnesium. What that does is, I'm sure you've had an Epsom salt bath before. The magnesium's fantastic, it absorbs through your skin, helps the muscles relax, as with your sleep, helps reduce the stress hormones, and um, has detox properties as well. What that amount of salt in the water does is it makes the water so dense that you float effortlessly on the water, and as a result, for the hour, you'll be in an environment where there's absolutely no pressure on your body, which allows your muscles, your joints, your ligaments to all stretch out and relax. When you're in the tank as well, you'll be in a completely distraction-free environment. So the tanks are completely dark, completely soundproofed, and the temperature is controlled to be 34 and a half degrees Celsius, which is the same as your skin temperature. Awesome. So if someone's a little bit scared of the dark or being enclosed in the tank, can they get similar effects by keeping it a little bit open? So we actually have an awful lot of people that come down here who have kind of claustrophobia and they get really worried beforehand. Um, but what we've noticed is it's actually a fantastic treatment for it. Um, so when you're in the tank, you're in control of everything. So you're in control of the lid, you're in control of the light, you're in control of everything. And when you're lying there, like it's actually, it's a really big space. Um, so what we find is they go through a bit of kind of a uh, progress in terms of when they're in, they might have the light to start off with, they might have a little bit open. Uh, but we found, I think about probably 95% of people Within five, 10 minutes, they feel comfortable enough to close it up to have the light off. And when you're in, I guess, a sensory deprived space, you don't know if you're floating in a small tank or if you're floating in space. So there's really no concept of, I guess, time or, or anything that you can really feel claustrophobic about. So what should people usually expect from their first experience inside the tank? Um, everyone's first experience is different and every float that you have is different as well. What you can definitely expect from your first float is that you're going to come out of the tank feeling incredibly relaxed. Your muscles are going to feel really, really loose because of the magnesium and the weightless situation. And you're also going to have a fantastic night's sleep. Um, those are the physical benefits and they're pretty much the same for everyone. From a mental point of view, it varies from person to person because it really depends on what's going on in your head at the time and how quickly you can switch off. With floating, like with anything, your first time is not often your best time just because it's a completely new environment and you take a little bit of time to get used to it and learn how to use it best. So you said that a lot of times the first float you don't really get like the, most, the biggest benefit. How many times do you usually have to float to get kind of used um, to it? Well, it's, it's like anything, so if you think of it as going to the gym, if you just went to the gym and did one session having never ever been to a gym before, you'd have no idea how to use any of the equipment and you're probably not going to have your best workout because it's something completely new to you. But as you start doing it more regularly, you can then sort of pinpoint the areas in the gym that you need to work on to get to your specific goals. And it's the same with floating. So after your first float, when you come in for the second time, you'll know what to expect, which means you'll be less nervous, you'll be able to relax and get into your float a lot quicker. And then after a couple times of doing it, you'll sort of learn to use the float for what you want to use it for. So how, how often do you recommend floating? We like to try and, I guess, float once a week. Um, from, I guess, our point of view, we, we train a lot. Um, so having the Epsom salt, that intense kind of magnesium hit for us is fantastic. Uh, it also allows the, just the muscles in our body just to relax. Awesome. So who's floating for? Who's usually your normal clientele that comes in to float? Um, our clientele is really, really diverse. I guess we all came into it from a sort of sports and fitness background. So obviously a lot of the people that we've targeted have been active in that. So from professional athletes to people who are quite active and train a lot, all come in and find benefit from it. Um, being in the city as well, we also have a lot of corporate people who work in the buildings around here that just find it as an awesome opportunity to come and take a break from life in the middle of the day and just have an hour or so 
to clear their mind. Um, we have elderly people in, we just had a gentleman before with PTSD who'd served in the army, he finds the tanks really, really relaxing and as a form of treatment. So to sum it up, tr uh, floating can be for everyone. So some people say that um, floating actually enhances lucid dreaming. So how does that work? Have you guys actually experienced lucid dreams because of floating? So I think for me there's a few different ways you can take floating. Um, one thing, and I've actually only started to try this quite recently uh, on advice from someone who's been floating for a long time, um, was just to have my eyes open. So I'd always gone onto the tank with my eyes closed. So a couple of weeks ago I was like, okay, well, take this twice, I'll start floating with my eyes open. And what happens is you can't see anything, I mean anything, you can't see your hand in front of your face. So what your mind does is it can't quite understand this. So it puts images in front of you, all sorts of different ones. Um, it can be sometimes colours and shapes and the kind of things that you may have seen in the Simpsons episode. Um, for me, the first time I did that, I saw dinosaurs, <laughs> and I, I don't know where that came from, um, but I was just visualising these big dinosaurs. Um, so it can be, it can be whatever's going on in your mind. So how did you guys get into this? Why did you guys decide to open up Floy? So there's three of us. Um, and we've all come from, like that said before, the fitness industry. Uh, I'd come from, I guess, looking after a health club. Um, Nats had come from working with a lot, of, a lot of athletes in the States. And Ben had come from, I guess, being an MMA fighter and once again looking after athletes here. Um, and we were, we were looking for a performance center, something to improve kind of athletic performance, really. We had a lot of people that train and the most common thing that was happening with people that train a lot was overtraining and then there would be a lot of injury and we didn't see anywhere that these athletes could go to recover, to speed up that process. So we came across these tanks, uh, I'd come across the Norma Tech year when I was over in the States working with triathlons. So um, do you have any advice for anyone that would like to come in and try floating for the very first time? I think the biggest piece of advice that we can give to anyone wanting to try it for the first time is to come in with no expectations because like Dan's mentioned before what goes on in everyone's head is different um, so come in with an open mind come in prepared to leave feeling really relaxed or feel free to like us on Facebook or follow us on Instagram our Instagram is flow.au and our Facebook is just flow.au and we'll always be in here and always be happy to help if you have any questions, just give us a call or send us a message. I just finished floating at Flow AU in the middle of Brisbane City and I had an absolutely amazing experience. I cannot tell you how relaxed I feel right now. The thing is, I'm a very high strung person. I get stressed really easy. I don't deal with stress as well as I wish I had. I wish I could. And um, just after that float, I don't think I've ever felt like so relaxed. I feel like all the weight has just completely dropped. So first things first, you get in there, um, the guys that are there are absolutely awesome, they're such sweethearts, they're so nice, um, they take you through what to expect, you jump into what, into the room where the tank is, they explain where the handles are, uh, where the buttons are, and all you do is you're going to go completely naked in the tank, so you strip down, you jump in the, have a quick shower, you jump out, and then you lay in the tank, when you're feeling comfortable, you close the lid, um, it's got a few light little lights in there, you lay down, you relax, you get used to the feeling. At the start, your body's just trying to get used to the momentum of the water, so you might bump into the edges a little bit. Don't... And then you just relax for a whole hour, and you just think about whatever comes into your head. Um, I went through a million different things. You know, since your first experience, you're probably just thinking about the fact that you're in there, you're thinking about the water, you're thinking about how heavy you are. After a while, your body actually goes numb. Towards the end, I actually started touching my body because I forgot that I was inside a body. Um, You're just in your own mind. Getting out, you feel super floaty. Uh, having a shower, you just don't, it doesn't really feel like reality. Uh, it's a really odd feeling. Um, no, you don't go through lucid dreaming and go through all the weird colors and like you're taking mushrooms. It is an experience that I really recommend trying and I cannot tell you how amazing my body, even my injuries, my everything just the stress feels absolutely awesome. So the next time I'm really, really stressed about something or nervous about a meeting or anything like that, I want to go and float for sure because I've never felt this good.